Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Dennis van Kampen and in this video tutorial series we will discuss what's new with SAP HANA SPS 11. In this video we will take a look at the new features for SAP HANA Application Lifecycle Management. Well, to be honest, this is going to be a short video. As you probably all know, we need to distinguish between application lifecycle management and platform lifecycle management. Platform lifecycle management concerns the installation of SAP HANA systems, creating distributed systems, adding or removing software components, etc. SAP software exclusively. Application lifecycle management concerns your apps, the applications that you, a partner, or maybe SAP has built to run an SAP HANA, powered by HANA. To manage the life cycle of an application, install the app, move the app from development to production, update the app, and so on, there are a number of tools. Some that you may have already used in other SAP system landscapes, like CTS Plus, that are bundled as HALM. HANA Application Lifecycle Management. You can access the web UI using hostname, port 80 plus instance number, and then slash SAP slash HANA slash access slash LM, Lifecycle Management. And this will bring you to the home page of the HANA Application Lifecycle Management. We have several tabs, we have products, Transport, Installation, and Settings. The web UI of HANA Application Lifecycle Management has been with us for several releases now, and you can access this UI also from HANA Studio using Lifecycle Management, Application Lifecycle Management, and then select an option, and this will launch the same thing in a browser. Of course, you need to log on first, well, then we'll get the same UI. Now, What's new for SAP HANA SPS 11 is that we can launch SAP HANA Lifecycle Management also directly from the SAP HANA cockpit. It's integrated, single tool, same Fiori look and feel, simple, cloud enabled. And this includes a link to the documentation about SAP HANA Lifecycle Management. Now we will cover HLM in a separate video tutorial series. In this video, we'll only address what's new and what's new is that we can access HANA Application Lifecycle Management directly from the SAP HANA cockpit. What's new for SAP HANA SPS 11 Application Lifecycle Management is documented in the SAP HANA What's New Guide. More detailed information can be found in the Administration Guide and the Development Guide. Both have chapters on this topic. You can read or download all these guides free of charge from the SAP Help portal on help.sap.com. Thank you for watching this SAP HANA Academy video.